limitations to where you can go. For Carson Wentz, his new coach believes that's quite far. Colts coach Frank Reich said Monday he cringes when it's suggested that Wentz is broken. Reich went on to say he's very confident that Wentz has a team around him. But Wentz's old team just scored a veteran boost to its defense. After 10 years in Washington, edge rusher Ryan Kerrigan is staying in the NFC East, but will be playing in Philly. Kerrigan leaves the Washington football team with a franchise record 95 and a half sacks and 147 quarterback hits. Meantime, Trevor Lawrence took to the field for the first time this past weekend at Jags rookie minicamp. Lawrence says his surgically repaired left shoulder feels great and he should be fully healthy by the team's mandatory minicamp next month. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Introducing the Lowe's List. While there's innovation in every aisle, these are some of our experts' top picks for 2021. Customize any load with a Whirlpool 2-in-1 washer. Control your home with a touch, thanks to Samsung Connected Appliances. Repel the rain with HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams Everlast. And keep the job going longer with the exclusive new line of Flex Power Tools, made for pros. To see who made the full Lowe's List, visit Lowe's.com. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. Can I get a chance? that'll turn my home office into a corner office? It's possible. How about a PC that'll help me get the most out of my day and my budget? Staples Connect makes it possible with the tools you need to work from home. And now, get up to $140 off select PCs and up to $100 off select chairs. Explore what's new at your local Staples or staplesconnect.com. Staples Connect, the working and learning store. Ends 522, in-store only, limit two, while supplies last. Details at staplesconnect.com slash weekly ad. And we are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230 KXO, El Centro, California. It is a Tuesday, the 18th day of May 2021. You're keeping score, right, Gene? I am. I took my shoes off because the number's over 10. Okay. And uh, let's see, the 18th day of May. What does that mean? Well, it means we're... We're the day after the 17th. Yeah, we're more than halfway through the month of May. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so what's new and exciting? Anything? Well, we're we're uh, the weather uh, for this time of year that we're experiencing is uh, not bad. Not bad. Not yeah. bad. Okay. Don't you know, complain. Dip into the triple digits, but briefly. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, the, you know I, I've explained this theory every year. It's not hot until it stays hot all night. Yeah. As long as it cools off in the evenings, we can handle it, right? Right. The walls of the buildings and all of that, they get a chance to cool off. Okay. Uh, we have a question for um, the Admiral, uh, Chris Hoff, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. On this date in 1798, the first secretary of the U.S. Navy was appointed. Okay, Admiral Hall, can you, uh, can you name Who that is first that? secretary of the U.S. Navy? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, I guess. No I, response. He's no snoozing response. again. Yes, Benjamin Stoddart was the first secretary of the U.S. Navy. Uh, so I suppose... Um, you know, we should celebrate, right? It was right on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> yes. Oh, well. And uh, looking back in history on this date in 1917, the U.S. Congress passed the Selective Service Act, which called up soldiers to fight in World War I. And the rest is history. Yes. And you remember registering, right? I do. Yes. I do remember. I, uh, 1A was my classification. Well, I was 2S, and every year for four years, I'd have to argue with the, um, uh, the the Selective Service Board that I'm a student. Here's my transcripts. Here's the receipts. I'm a student. I'm 2S. Mm -hmm. So after four years, they finally got me. Yeah. And the rest yeah. is history. Okay, well, the Buckley family has a long history of, we're not going to volunteer for anything, but if you draft us, we'll go. Hey, it works. Yes. It worked. Yes. So, uh, not, not too uh, shabby? 
Okay. Are you ready for birthdays? Ready for birthdays. These yeah, are the okay. big the big guys, the big shots. Yeah, we'll get through uh, the big shots. Uh, actor Priscilla Pointer is 97. Actor Robert Morse is 90. How to succeed in business. Dwayne Hickman, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, 87. Actor Candace Azara is 80. Rick Wakeman of Yes, 72. Singer Mark Motherbaugh of Devo, The Guys with the Funny Hats, 71. Actor James Stevens is 70. George Strait, 69. No word on his hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Actor Chow Yun Fat is 66. Singer, actor Martika, 52. Comedian Tina Fey is 51. Musician Jack Johnson is 46. He's uh, quite an accomplished musician, singer. Actor Alan Leach of Downton Abbey is 40. Actor Violet Bean is 25. And actor Halla Finley is 12. How about some local birthdays? Coming up we got right now. We've got happy birthday wishes going out today to Jessica Garibaldi, Lisa Ann Henson, Kelly Abadi, Kaylin Trujillo, Jimmy Smith, Judy Milan, Laura Valdez, Jimmy Toten, Elena Damara, Manuel Vasquez III, Robert De Leon, and happy birthday, Manny Hernandez. Okay. Everybody, happy birthday. Enjoy. Sounds uh, like a plan. Yes. Sounds like a plan. And, uh, well, you might even have an outdoor birthday party with a few friends. Make sure everybody's been vaccinated and adhere to the mask mandates, which California will keep. Until June the 15th. Unless, of course, the governor gets another idea and uh, changes his mind again. Yeah. 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 Don't, uh, don't hint. You know, <sighs> don't give yeah, no, hold ideas. your breath. Anyway, and uh, roughly um, in doing some research, about half the states have uh, gone along with the CDC guidelines to this point. But then about half the states didn't have any real guidelines uh, in the state anyway. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, and I don't know whether the CDC did either. But yeah, that's you another know, story for another day. You just kind of wonder. Okay, are you ready for news? We've got news let's coming take, up. Yes, let's take a look at World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. They are your year-round comfort specialists. CBS News Brief. No sign of a let-up in deadly violence between Israel and Hamas. CBS's MTS Tayab says it's taking a toll on Gaza. The concern now is that Gaza's one power plant, that there's not enough fuel left in it to last the rest of the day. So we are expecting that people inside of Gaza will have a very dark and, of course, very terrifying night ahead of them. In about a half an hour, a district attorney in North Carolina is expected to release results of an investigation into the death of Andrew Brown, a black man shot and killed by deputies as they tried to serve drug-related warrants. Keith Rivers has the Passaquatank NAACP. We want justice. We're going to stay optimistic, even though we don't have reason. Nick Stanton woke up to find Baton Rouge flooded out. My car is underwater, so I don't know how it's going to work. Hopefully everything turns out fine. There's more heavy rain in the forecast. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news citing confusion about the lifting of mask mandates elsewhere in the country. State Health and Human Services Secretary Dr. Mark Galley says California's mask requirements will stay in place until June 15th. It's for a week period will give Californians time to prepare for this change while we continue 
a relentless focus on delivering vaccines. The CDC relaxed recommendations last week, saying fully vaccinated Americans could stop wearing masks in most indoor and outdoor settings. 25% containment on the Palisades fire burning in the Topanga Canyon area of L.A. County, continuing to burn in an area without fire activity for decades. This is very challenging terrain. As you've heard, this is about 75 years since we've had a fire there. Some of the brush is 20 to 30 feet high. L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti, hundreds of structures still threatened Evacuation orders have been lifted and one person is in custody, suspected of deliberately setting the fire. Triple-digit heat in parts of Southern California today. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. Your year-round comfort specialist. Give Lock a call for repair or replacement of your AC. I'm CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger with a quick tip from H2O Wireless on stretching your budget and saving money every month. Start with your recurring monthly bills, and here's the easiest one, your cell phone bill. Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile charge premium rates for unlimited data, when in all actuality, you have no need for that much data. H2O Wireless, on the other hand, is on the exact same network as one of those carriers, but charges you half. The average family of four is saving over 70 bucks a month without having to sacrifice coverage. And listen to this unlimited talk, text, and 15 gigs of data for just $36 per month. Switching is as easy as swapping out your SIM card. You can keep your phone and your phone number. Here's how to get the best deal. This month, dial pound 250 and say keyword get H2O. You'll save an additional 50% off your first month. Dial pound 250 and say get H2O for this exclusive offer and start saving today. And it's page one of the local news. Page one is service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and Del Centro. Quick Lane, ready to serve. Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Tuesday morning. Two traffic accidents uh, this morning. The first at just after 5.20 a.m. on eastbound Interstate 8 near the west side main. And the other about 30 minutes later on northbound Forrester Road just south of Johnson Road. No other details are available as of yet. Well, COVID uh, numbers are fluctuating. George Gale explains. The latest numbers were released yesterday morning. COVID-19 numbers are provided by the County Public Health Department. According to the latest numbers, active cases of COVID-19 in Imperial County are at 130. 16 of those are hospitalized with seven in intensive care. There are four ICU beds available in the county. Positivity rate is at 8.8%. New cases per day per 100,000 population is at 5.96. Vaccinations continue to increase slowly each day. The number of total vaccines administered is now at 124,120. 53,923 are fully vaccinated. 70,197 are partially vaccinated. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. KXO News Time coming up to 742. Are you looking for a change? Do you want to join a team that appreciates you? El Centro Motors and the Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers are looking for motivated service riders and technicians. The locally owned Quick Lane Service Centers and El Centro Motors offer top pay and great working conditions. You may even qualify for a signing bonus. Apply online at elcentromotors.net. Grow with a team that values your skills. Join the El Centro Motors and Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers team. In other local news, the state of California will keep uh, the mask mandates in place until June the 15th. California's Health and Human Services Director, Dr. Uh, Mark uh, Galley, said that the state will wait a while until uh, following the latest CDC guidelines that say vaccinated individuals may go without masks. According to the doctor, waiting until June 15th will give more people an opportunity to get vaccinated and businesses a chance to adjust to the new guidelines. California's uh, current guidelines require that face coverings are to be worn in indoor settings unless it's a non-workplace setting and all individuals have been vaccinated. Even after June 15th, Masks will be recommended by individuals who are not vaccinated or only partially 
vaccinated. Well, today is a Tuesday, and the County Board of Supervisors will hold their weekly meeting. Here's more in the story. The Board of Supervisors uh, meet today. Meetings uh, are available uh, via live stream, available at the county website. A board begins uh, the uh, meeting this week with a special presentations, resolution recognizing the faculty, staff, administration, and board of trustees of Imperial Valley College for their extraordinary contributions to the county of Imperial's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. A board will be asked to approve a proclamation declaring the week of May 16th through the 22nd as Emergency Medical Services Week, individual resolutions of appreciation will be presented to ARC Imperial Valley Brownies Diner and Roses Plain Food for their support of the uh, Senior Nutrition Program. A board will be asked to approve a cash payments for lost vacation credits for seven exempt and ten non-exempt public health department employees. They will discuss California Department of Health Immunization Branch amended grant agreement, including an increase in funding of, uh, by $1,514,401 and the board will discuss the formation and appointments of the Agriculture Benefit Scholarship Match Program Ad Hoc Committee. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. That will conclude this edition of Local News. Stay with us for page two. Page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and Del Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. One to get ready. We're ready. Two to get set. Tables are set. And three to go. Let's go. Burgers and Beer is ready for you. We are open awesome. and our Everybody meals are fresh and awesome. made to your order. We are set. Our tables are set. Our condiment trays are fresh, stocked, and chilled. Our doors are open and it's go time. Come in and enjoy all your favorites at Burgers and Beer. The bacon is sizzling. The fries are frying. The burgers are cooking. And all the beverages are ice cold. It's a good day at Burgers and Beer. Page two of the local news is brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for your health insurance, life insurance, auto and home insurance needs. Taking a look at uh, the latest in local news, the IID board uh, meets today since it's Tuesdays. Here's more on that uh, story. The Imperial Irrigation District Board of Directors will go into closed session at 8 this morning. The agenda uh, does not say if the directors will discuss the controversy between the IID and the IVEDC. The uh, closed session agenda uh, does include uh, some uh, general categories where the uh, board could discuss the issue if they wanted to. The uh, controversy surrounds the uh, a fake letter produced by a high-ranking Imperial Valley Economic Development Commission op official. Uh, the uh, letter is on uh, IID letterhead and contains a signature of Tina Shields, an IID water department manager. Shields says she did not sign that letter. IBEDC says the uh, letter was a draft document and should have been labeled as such. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. A man is lost for four days. He was rescued last week. Boar Star agents rescued the man. San Diego County Sheriff's Department called the San Diego Border Patrol Search, Trauma, and Rescue Team. Uh, they were deployed in all-terrain vehicles. They located the man in a remote location near Dulzura. Aside from being dehydrated, the man said he was in good health. Four star team uh, used uh, the all terrain vehicles to remove the man from the area. It was determined he was a 35 year old Mexican national and he had entered the U.S. illegally. He, he was taken to a nearby Border Patrol station for processing. Well, there's a fire in a trailer near Hopeville. Here's more on the story. The Imperial County Fire responded to the blaze. It was reported near Hoteville by Cam and Mellon Roads. The county requested mutual aid. It was a trailer fire. One fatality was reported, a male victim. County Coroner's Office says the victim has not been identified at this time. The cause of the fire is under investigation. No other details have been made available. For KXO Local News. I'm George Gale. And just so you understand, that was uh, on Friday night.
Well, the Brawley uh, City Council will hold a meeting that is uh, on May 18th. That's this uh, evening. The meeting uh, will uh, come to uh, order at uh, 6 uh, p.m. We'll continue with a look at the weather weather after this. Nice to explore your options when it comes to buying insurance, no matter what you're looking for. David H. West Insurance Services offers it all. And being an independent broker, we have many companies to choose from. We continue providing Medicare, life, and health plans, and now offer auto, home, and commercial insurance. David H. West Insurance Services can find the right insurance to fit your needs and budget. And best of all, a staff who cares about you. So don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call David H. West Insurance Services at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411 for a free insurance review. That's 352-3411. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. According to the National Weather Service, temperatures will rebound to near normal today and then above the seasonal average tomorrow. However, another weather system will arrive Thursday into Friday, resulting in breezy conditions and cooler weather. 92 the high yesterday, 58 the low. Wind gusts peaked at 18 miles an hour yesterday afternoon. Today will be sunny with a high near 100. West-northwest wind about 5 miles an hour, becoming southwest in the afternoon. Clear tonight with a low around 70. West-southwest winds 5 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Those winds become south-southeast after midnight. Tomorrow, sunny with a high near 102. South-southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming southwest 10 to 15 miles an hour in the afternoon with gusts as high as 25 miles per hour. Right now downtown we have 73 degrees, 53 percent relative humidity, wind out of the east southeast at 3 to 5 miles an hour. Air quality throughout the Imperial Valley is good, moderate in Mexicali. Page two of the local news and the weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, or Medicare supplemental coverage. Dang, if your life is anything like mine, 2021 is flying by. I'm not even sure what's actually going on. The only thing that I do know is we're already smack dab in the middle of wedding season, graduations, Father's Day, and everything else. This is Julie from Green's Jewelry and Gifts. I can't slow down time or lighten your to-do list, but I can, however, make your gift giving a breeze. Stop by Green's Jewelry and Gifts today. From our bridal registries, gift department, and many beautiful jewelry options, I'm positive that we will help you find the perfect gift for every occasion. Green's Jewelry and Gifts. 670 Broadway Avenue in El Centro. And it's sports time. Brought to you this morning by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. Major League Baseball action. Hugh Darvish, uh, he fanned 10 and uh, doubled. Yeah, his first hit of the year. Manny Machado with another home run. The Padres shut out the Rockies 7 0. Angels uh, beat the Indians 7 4. Um, Shohei Otani with his 13th home run. Mike Trout went down with an injury, waiting to hear about that. Giants beat the Reds 6 3. Mets over the Braves 3 1. White Sox clobbered the Twins. 16 to 4. Cubs beat the Nationals 7 to 3. Rangers over the Yankees 5 2. Dodgers dumped the Diamondbacks 3 1. Albert Pujols in the starting lineup delivered an RBI, hitting out of the cleanup spot. And the Tigers topped the Mariners 4 to 1. That was Major League Baseball. And meanwhile, in uh, other baseball news, uh, Mets outfielder Kevin Pillar left the game bloodied after being hit smack in the face with a pitch from Atlanta Braves reliever Jacob Webb. Manager uh, Luis Rojas said after the Mets 3-1 uh, win that Pillar left Truist Field in Atlanta to go to the hospital and undergo a CT scan. 
Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District is open and ready to serve you and your family for all your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in health care and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Brawley and, of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all the Pioneer services, visit pmhd.org today. And in NBA action, uh, are we in the playoffs yet? Is it over? Okay. Well, actually, games are scheduled uh, today. The Hornets and the Pacers. It's a NBA play-in game for the East uh, Conference. And uh, the Wizards and the Celtics will play. Yeah, I do. Play-in. Uh, yeah, things are different. Everybody gets to play, and everybody goes home with a participation trophy. <sighs> NFL news, veteran quarterback Brian Hoyer will re-sign with the New England Patriots. He joins a crowded position headlined by Cam Newton. Also 2021 first-round draft, draft choice Mac Jones. And uh, third-year veteran Jarrett Stidham. Let's see if we can find somebody that can play that position. Meanwhile, the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars waived running back Ryquel Armistead, who missed the entire 2020 season because of complications related to COVID-19. And Bob Baffert has been suspended from entering horses at New York racetracks pending an investigation into Kentucky Derby winner Medina Spirit's failed post-race drug test but that's it for sports time brought to you this morning by pioneers memorial health care district log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. It's time to go play golf at Del Rio Country Club. The weather's great, the course is in super shape, and listen to this, Del Rio Country Club is now offering their summer special, five rounds of golf for $150. Golf special can be used anytime, including Saturday and Sunday. Have lunch at Del Rio Country Club with indoor and outdoor seating. Looking to be a member of Del Rio Country Club? They offer single or family memberships too. To make a tea time, call Del Rio Country Club at 760-344-0085. That's 344-0085. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security also offers live scan fingerprinting to the public. Well, that latest round of federal stimulus payments of up to $1,400 per person lifted sales at Walmart, the largest retailer in the U.S. Shoppers used their checks to buy clothing, home goods, and other merchandise at stores and online. Walmart said yesterday that sales at stores open for at least one year grew 6% in the U.S. during the three-month ending April 30th compared with the same stretch last year. That figure included a 37% rise in online sales last quarter. And uh, in other news, what's, uh, what's going on? Well, Amazon reportedly is in talks by MGM, the uh, film studio, that was a staple of Hollywood's golden age, a tie-up would give the tech firm a big brand to wield as competition in streaming grows fiercer. MGM's iconic logo of a roaring lion is played before tons of classic films, including, well, the entire James Bond series. The uh, studio could be valued at between seven and $10 billion dollars and Amazon did not immediately respond to a request for comment from uh, reporters. So what's happening on the market front? Well, kind of uh, mixed signals right now. The Dow Jones Industrials are off 61 and a half points. The S&P 500 up one. And uh, NASDAQ is up. 93 points as well as uh, kind of mixed messages coming out of uh, Wall Street 
at this time. Gold is off 40 cents an ounce, oil down 48 cents a barrel. Southwest Security Company is a locally owned security company protecting your property or your business and now offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. Plus, they added Southwest Postal with post office boxes you can access 24 hours a day, 365 days a year with shipping services too using DHL, UPS, and FedEx. They're conveniently located at the corner of Hyle and 4th Street in El Centro. And if you need something notarized, they can do that too. You can count on Southwest Security and Southwest Postal for 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It will be sunny today with a high near 100. West-northwest wind about 5 miles an hour, becoming southwest this afternoon. Clear tonight with a low around 70. West-southwest winds 5 to 15 miles an hour, becoming south-southeast after midnight. Those winds could gust as high as 20 miles an hour. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high near 102. South-southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming southwest 10 to 15 miles an hour in the afternoon, with gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. And we have 74 degrees, 52 percent relative humidity, wind out of the east-southeast at uh, 3 miles per hour. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services. They offer 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal, 4th and Heil, El Centro. Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialist. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 56 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789 or 344-2533 on the north end. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. CBS News next, brought to you by El Centro Regional Medical Center. We're ready and open to serve your family. This is CBS News on the Hour, your home for original reporting. I'm Steve Kathan. New information is about to emerge in connection with a fatal police shooting last month in North Carolina. CBS's Jim Crisula. The prosecutor who will decide whether to file criminal charges in the fatal shooting of a black man by sheriff's deputies in Elizabeth City, North Carolina, will discuss the findings of a state investigation. 42-year-old Andrew Brown Jr. was killed as deputies tried to serve drug and search warrants against him. Protesters last night rallied to demand the release of police body cam video in the case. To put pressure on the department to put out the tape, the actual footage, not edited footage. Now to the Middle East. The rocket and missile attacks go on as Hamas and Israel wage yet another day of warfare. Humanitarian aid is now being allowed in. CBS's Weijia Jiang reports President Biden has called for a ceasefire, but the administration seems intent on going through with an arms deal to Israel arranged earlier. Many lawmakers have issued statements to say that to move forward with this deal would be, quote, appalling to use the word that Congresswoman Ilhan Omar used without strings attached, without some agreement from Israel to commit to a ceasefire. House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy says he opposes the proposed independent commission to look into the Capitol attack, saying other groups like Black Lives Matter should be investigated too. In a statement released shortly before the House Rules Committee began consideration of the bipartisan bill to create the commission, McCarthy described it as political and unnecessary. Chairman, Massachusetts Democrat Jim McGovern. The statement by the minority leader, which I, I find alarming. Texas Republican Kate Granger says the bill lacks sufficient support in the Senate. I don't think that they're prepared um, to pass this, and we're losing an opportunity. Steve Dorsey, CBS News, Washington. There have been high water rescues in parts of Texas and Louisiana battered by a foot or more of rain. Diamante Hall just moved into a new place in Baton Rouge. I just literally moved into these apartments. I didn't think it was a flood like this. Like, the sidewalks, yeah, they flooded, like, it was bad last night in Atlanta for New York Mets outfielder Kevin Pillar. Oh, and he hit him in the helmet. Oh, my. The call on SNY as Pillar was hit by a 95-mile-an-hour Jacob Webb fastball. The team said this morning he suffered multiple nasal fractures. Checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is down 66 points. NASDAQ is up 86 
This is CBS News. CBS News Radio is your home for breaking news. With our team of reporters around the country and the world, we give you the coverage you can trust. It's all about getting the most out of summer. And with Certified Refurbished from eBay, you can enjoy 100% of summer with up to 50% savings on top brands. So tackle your to-do list and break out the playlist with like new products from the brands you love, including Bose, Works, iRobot, and more, complete with a two-year warranty from Allstate. Time to go full-on summer with half-off top brands this year. Shop Memorial Day Savings at eBay today. Is finding the clothes that you love in just the right fit and size an overwhelming task? Experience a new way to shop with Stitch Fix. Our experts hand-select pieces so you can get the ease of personal styling from the convenience of home. Every piece is curated just for you, for staying home or on the go in your unique style. With Stitch Fix, there's never any subscription required, and it's delivered right to your door. Get started today at stitchfix.com. Stitch Fix, your style delivered. In the White House, Barack Obama dealt with some of the pressing issues of the moment. Last night, it was all for laughs. Former President Obama offered up life advice during an appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden. One staffer asked how to make a good impression on a first date. You order a little wine, say nice things to her, compliment, compliment her on her dress. I'm the former president of the United States, man. You should have come up with something. Oh my God. Mr. Obama's words of wisdom to another. I accidentally liked my ex's Instagram photo at 3 in the morning last night. I think you should go to sleep earlier. <laughs> Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. Well, Kelly Klein is now the highest ranking woman with any NFL club. Klein, a former Vikings executive, has been named executive director of football operations and special advisor to the general manager of the Denver Broncos. I'm Steve Kathan, CBS News. At El Centro Regional Medical Center, we're ready and open to care for you and your family. We want to assure you that ECRMC is doing everything possible to keep you safe and healthy. As part of these efforts, we now offer the convenience of telemedicine. Skip the waiting room and visit your doctor on your phone, tablet, or computer instead. Don't delay the care you need. Make an appointment today by calling us at 760-482-5000. ECRMC, open to care. CBS News brought to you by El Centro Regional Medical Center. ECRMC, open and ready to care. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. Present to you with this year's Choice YouTuber Award. Errol Buckley. Prepare to get rocked. <laughs> that was unbelievable. <laughs> AM 1230 KXO. 1230 KXO.